your way, man. Your way is to check it out, man. Hey, hey, hey. Check on it. Hey. Your woman, Ray. Right? Hey. I ain't seen moves like that since my cow was in here. She's trash. Dance with everybody, Ray. Calientita. Hablo con él, Ray. Say the word, man. guys you want to dance with, two drunks in the dishwasher. Ray, get off of me! What do you want? You want to carpet my chest property of Ray Burgess? And that star routine, who do you think you are? Luby Velez! Hey, hey, wait a minute, how am I getting home? Ask Goldie like to drive you home. killing 23-year-old Ara Lopez, a computer programmer from La Habra. And L.A.'s wondering what its cops are for. This is the fourth woman in as many days to fall victim to this still unknown killer, although this time the police have a suspect in custody. They refuse yet to reveal his name, but they do admit they... Why the hell wasn't I notified? Get a suspect in the precinct, the senior officer on the case gets called. Get with the program, Luann. I'm sorry, Sergeant. Captain Keller thought that Stark would be able to handle everything. Keller can't think. He tried it once and peed in Santa's lap. <laughs> All right, now, so who we got? Uh, the victim's boyfriend, a guy named Ray Burgess. It's about time, Martin. Thanks. Thanks. Those are in order, and they're to the captain. Judas. Now, you listen to me, my friend. We can stay here all day as far as I... I told you what I told you, all right? Burgess. You mind not smoking in my face? You know all that crap about good cop, bad cop? Well, forget it. There's no good cop here. He's bad. But I make his bad look like Mother Teresa on Sunday morning. Hold on. You smell trouble. I do. You want a sauce, Mac? You want. Look, I'm just joking. It's no problem, man. Come on. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Please. Yeah, take this before I blow his ugly head off. So what's the matter? You get tired of killing strangers? No, no way. And what's this spread eagle business? Some kind of private joke? Man, I was nowhere near that parking lot. Yeah, this... big joke. You were seen fighting with her, threatening her in front of witnesses. What do you think, it's funny killing girls? What's the matter, you got a pencil for That's it, it Mackie? Just trying to get at the truth, Captain. At this point, you wouldn't know the truth of a bitch on the butt. 
In my office. Now. I'll get back to you. I always get back. Does he think he is tough or something? Something. You want I should scare you up a fresh pair of pants? Oh, man. Spare me the grand gesture, Sergeant Mackey. I'm not gonna give you the luxury of monitor, but I'll be shirking my job if I didn't put you someplace else for a while. You feel like working traffic, maybe? I thought your job was to let me be a cop. Then I wish to hell you'd be a cop. You used to be one of the best, but something has popped inside. I don't know, maybe the divorce, maybe... Maybe all that booze you've been guzzling is giving you an ulcer or something. Maybe I got some fruitcake who's killed four women so far, for God's sakes. And maybe that's the guy who did it. What the hell's the matter with you? You got a brain cramp or something? That man's not a killer and you know it. Furthermore, your treatment of him is the stuff that lawsuits are made of. You're tap dancing right on the edge these days, Mackey, and I don't think you're in control of it. I'm in control. I like being on the edge. The view's better. Not this view. You're on the edge of being a bad cop. You know where you can put those. Mackey. In charge of the Eagle case, right? Appropriate you're here. Catch him yet? At this point, Commissioner, I'm not even... Batting 500, I know. I don't think you boys are even in the ballpark. Stuart, what you need is an aha experience. A kick of genius in the seat of your pants. Sir? I want you to meet a friend of mine. Sally Powers. Sally? Captain... Keller. Uh, Stuart Harry Keller. It's nice to meet you. Miss Powers? How the hell did you know my name? It's on your door. Not my middle name, Harry. In fact, no one in the department knows that. Well, the sign on your desk, the buck stops here. Who said that? Harry Estrum. <laughs> Give him hell, Harry. I bet your parents thought he was the best thing since sliced bread. That's exactly what my dad used to. I should introduce her by her full title. Doctor. Sally Powers, just graduated, Ph.D. in psychology. Wrote her dissertation on criminal psychopathology. Uh-oh, field trip. What in it, Mackie? Point one. Sally is expanding her dissertation into a book and wants exposure to a real-life case. A case in pathological criminality. Point two. You boys are obviously having trouble figuring out who the eagle is. How he selects his victims. I put you together. Maybe we all get what we want. Commissioner. I know what I want. The eagle. He's playing for keeps, I'm playing for keeps. If you know what's good for you, Captain Keller, you'll start doing the same. <clears throat> well, um, I feel the next killing may be sexual. Sexual? No, I know. I mean, up until this point, uh, he hasn't touched them. Aside from killing them, of course. So why would he change his M.O.? Well, I can't tell you why. <laughs> Just a wild hunch, huh? Or uh, maybe you got a hotline to God? Ask him when the big one's coming, will you? Uh, he might have hit again. Uh, Beverly Hills woman, 24, good looking. Found spread eagle. You got two choices. One is you're off the case for 10 days and you work a desk. Yeah, or. Or you can be this young lady's uh, escort, guardian, whatever, and you can unofficially stay around the case as her guide. Captain. As in take it or leave it. Officially stay around. All right. You come up with something fine. You bring it to me. You do not, however, work directly on the case or interrogate suspects. Stark takes that over. Stark, you could screw up a train rack. You need to cool your jets. And I need the commissioner off my back. Or maybe I should just fire your ass. Insubordination, threatening a prisoner. Come on, let's see what the books didn't teach you. Have a nice day. Oh. Undercover team, they stink. What's true? 
partially true. That I'm, that I'm naive, that I'm wet behind the ears, that I'm, you know, just off the academic farm. That's true. You took the words right out of my mouth. But it's not true that I don't belong here. I'm not a dilettante, you know. I know what I'm doing. I've seen violence. Right, I know. That fraternity football sure can get intense, and the scramble for the breed, the faculty tea. <laughs> Cop humor. You don't take it so damn personal. I say something rotten, you say something horrible back, see? It's how we cop ties past the time between the donuts and the dead bodies. I see. No, not I see. Say something insulting. You know, get personal. Tell me I got a big mouth, a fat head. I've seen better heads on a pimple. <laughs> Better heads on a pimple. That's not bad. Not bad. My, my brother used to say that to me when we were kids. Spend more time with your brother. Hey, residential areas! Blow it down! Shark! God, I hate joggers. Why run if you're not breaking the law? Welcome to Bel Air. Please present your identification to the security representative. Community passport. What, this family day at the precinct? Two blocks on the left. No siren. This is a quiet community. <laughs> I break your head, you come back this way. So what's the address again? Might as well be out with my ex-wife. 525 Coronado Heights. And hey, what you doing on my map? I'm plotting points. These three murders, they, they line up geographically. So do these three. They form a kind of X, you see? Two triangles touching at the vertexes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What? Look at that cloud. It looks like a cow, don't it? You see the horns and everything? Maybe your ex-wife knew a pimple when she saw one. <laughs> Get out of the car. Just remember, you asked for this. Hey, Mackie! You gotta send this for us? Have you seen the body yet, Dr. Come on, give me a break. Can it stand there all day? Hey! Where's the break? Hey, sir, don't think you should go in there. You talking to me? Order, sir. Sergeant Starks. He's in charge of the case now. And you're? Patrolman Higgins, sir. Sergeant Stark's driver. Higgins. Yes, sir. I'd like one of your kneecaps for a paperweight. That's your finger, right? On my mother's grave, I swear this is not my finger. The only upside I can see for you in this is you're going to have access to all those terrific blue parking spaces. Mac! Mac, you are off this case, Mackie. You got a problem with that. And you take that up with Captain Keller. <clears throat> Excuse me? Where's the body? Ask him. Who the hell are you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't thinking. Um, uh, this is a note from the police commissioner's office. Nathan Dowd? Nathan Dowd. Do you know him? He's a really nice guy, actually. Well, I mean, at least he has been to me. Though I hear he can be really horrible if he's crossed. It gives me permission to come along, take a look, you know, check things out. See this part? All officers are to allow me full access. Sally Powers. Hi. 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 Dr. Sally Powers. And I'm assigned by Captain Keller to see that Dr. Sally gets wherever she damn well needs to get. Is that true? Yeah, he sort of met his partners. You know, Captain Keller. Such a nice guy. When well, he's not cross. Wait here. You don't want to see this.
What do you got? Zip. I thought you were off this. Absolutely. So you got any prints, Jerry? Two glasses, one scotch, one mineral water. Her prints on the water, the scotch is clean. Take a look if you want, we're finished. Figure if she was drinking with him, she probably knew him. Got her from behind, no signs of a struggle. Mackie, I don't think this is our boy, you want my opinion. Ice in the water when you got here? Just in his. What's your death? Within a half an hour of us getting the call. Hi, I'm Mark. You sure you want to be in here? She's so young. Your age. Look, if you ever want to talk, I'm always around. God knows this and Mackie in one day. It's no picnic. You got here so late, Sherlock. But I'm afraid we got it covered. You got it covered she used? Coke. She didn't know the guy. There was a struggle. She snapped the nail off. He sat down and had a drink with her at least half an hour after she was dead. Bottom of her glass had those little white flakes L.A. ice leaves behind when it melts. You got all that covered? We're out of here, Lieutenant. I'm uh, sure the lab will cover all that. What did she do for a living? Real estate. Working girl. She was a hooker? Coke fingernail, rented porno tapes. <laughs> Your lab will fill you in. <laughs> Sally. Sally. What the hell do you think you're doing? Are you all right? She was raped. yet no you don't even remember doing it do you i mean you ever lose it like that before hey i'm trying to help you here look you screw up in public and killer's got an excuse to boot you out of here and i lose my ticket to be around this case bad for both of us you agree yes have you ever raped yourself what? Knock, knock. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, the captain left a few more words with you. I told him you were going through your files. I'll bet you did. Next time you feel like you're going to lose it, try yelling your partner's name as loud as you can. See if that helps. Here's my home phone. Thanks, Mackie. Thanks. Thanks. No, thank you. <laughs> well, you must have made some impression. Why do you say that? Oh, he's never called anyone partner before. the world would rape a dead call girl. She says he may have stabbed her afterwards. 
And then put her panties back on? Oh, look, she's not real sure about the sequence. And how does she come by this knowledge? Tea leaves? Tarot cards? Did she fondle the victim's handkerchief? No. She had a hunch, that's all. Maggie, I know that. Look, there's something you're not telling me. And it wasn't my idea in the first place. I don't care whose idea it was. It's what the lab report. All right. Maggie, you mind? No semen anywhere? What'd I tell you? Send her back to her own planet. Take gas. Look, there was forcible entry. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe use protection. Yeah, right. What? Safe rape? Maybe it wasn't a guy. Hey, come on over here and sit down. He'll be out in a minute. Thanks. So, do you have a place to stay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm staying at the, um, the Twin Towers. The one by the 405 freeway? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't a gunfire keep you awake? Uh, no. No, it's gonna be fine until I find my own place. There are pictures of the Beverly Hills murders from Mackie. Can I have those? You have a coat? Welcome to L.A. <laughs> he won't hurt you. I don't think Roger would mind if you stay here. In fact, I think it might excite him. What if he decides to come back? Roger? Not a chance. Well, at least not for a while. You see, Roger woke up one morning with his shoes on and decided to sign a split for her mom. Uh, how long were the two of you together? Well, that depends on what you mean by together. Oh, bedrooms, bathrooms. Roger wouldn't move in with me, and I wouldn't move in with Roger. Same apartment building. That's as close as we ever got. <laughs> I seem to end up with guys like that. Well, or not end up with them. What about Mackie? How long has he had this drinking problem? Well, I don't know. Let's see. How long has it been since his, um, divorce? Uh, look. I gotta go feed my cat. Um, I'll let you burrow in, and if you need anything, just give me a call. It's the uh, third number on Roger's auto dial. Probably after his office and his mother, huh? Yeah. You know what? You are totally spooky. But I like that. I'll call you later.
Rejoicing over the news that it looks like the Eagles' spell of terror may be broken. For the first time in over a week, 24 hours have elapsed without the murder of a young woman. However, that doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet because the Eagle is still at large. That was Gregory Snegoff with News Break, brought to you by the folks at Ferns and Case Gym. This week featuring a special on perfect legs. Come on down and get those thighs toned. Free valet parking, sparkling mineral water showers, and the most beautiful people so, left of La Cienega. Guess what I tried? And I'm like, oh, whoa, like, what a pinhead, okay? Like, I'm not even curious, okay? Where the hell is Cassie? So listen, listen, listen. So I go to him, what, uh, a green Volvo? And he's like, no, a vanilla Porsche. Ah! So what am I supposed to, like, go outside now and lick it? Ah, God, I pray I don't have to teach Kathy's class again. Sorry, it's like I don't even have a green Volvo. I have a vanilla Porsche. Like, what am I supposed to do, go and lick it? Oh, I'm so sure. Kathy. God, where is Kathy? Kathy, please report to the aerobics room. Your class is waiting. Come on. Why don't we chip in and get Kathy a new alarm clock? Yeah? Or maybe a live-in boyfriend? <laughs> OK, people, everybody out. Ready to move. Looks like Kathy got lucky again last night, huh? All right, the management apologizes. I apologize. But, like, let's work those legs, all right? OK, keep your eyes on me. It's like legs spread apart, arms out. All right, we're going to clap it now, all right? Ready, and take it over. And two, and three, other side. Now, one, two, three, other side. Feel it in your thighs now. Make it burn. This woman you've got working on the case, what exactly is she doing? She should be up here right away. It's a little complicated. I'll have her uh, explain it to you as soon as she gets up here. I'm not in right now, but you can leave a message after the tone. If this is Mackie, I, I may be a little late. Flex and point! Flex and point! Faster and flex! And flex and flex and point! Oh my god! Are you going to be teaching this class from now on? Because I've been looking for a trainer. My problem is I start working out, and then I reward myself with junk food. You know, I'm our worst enemy. Let's hope so. It's OK. Like, I, I don't think you're the one. Hey, the police! Oh, no. Put the call, please. Someone call it. Okay, you went to the health club on a hunch. 
Why didn't you call Mackie? I was going to. Okay, but what? But I got distracted. <sighs> distracted how? Sally, did you know there was going to be a murder? I mean, how could you possibly know that? Are you picking up some stations that the rest of us don't get? Because I can think of another explanation. What are you saying? Nothing. I'm just making an observation, okay? That's my job. You know, connecting the dots. You've been fooling around with maps since you got here. In my car yesterday, remember? Well, I noticed certain geographical correlations between the locations of the killings. English, please. They line up. At first I thought they were spelling out the letter X. But now I don't think so. See, these three line up. And so do these three. But... This line is longer. Four murders so far. I don't know the how or the why of it, but there's nothing impulsive about these killings. Well, they're completely premeditated. Designer crime. So you're saying that you went to that particular health club because you have some kind of map in your head? I just knew. You knew you were supposed to call me. Well, maybe I thought it would look like just another cow to you. Would have checked it out. No. You mean you would have told me as I instructed you to, and I would have been out there with a dozen men? We might have saved that girl's life. All right, look, I'm releasing you on your own recognizance. Go home and get some sleep, or whatever the hell it is you do to unwind. Just stay away from that apartment for a day or two. You got a dictionary at home? Yeah. Look up the word partner. Mackie, one last chance. If you can't keep track of a schoolgirl, which is the simplest thing I can think of to give you, you fly on a desk, pure and simple, no ifs, ands, or buts. Got it? I'm leaving for lunch. Enjoy your iced tea. Nothing sacred. The firing range will be closed for repairs Thursday and Friday. And grenade class will be held at the 13th Precinct Armory. Wrist! Wrist! Come on, let's go, come on. Are you okay? No. Look, uh, if you ever need a shoulder to lean on, Follow your instincts. Yeah. Everybody does stuff like that. Yeah, I, sometimes I find myself, I just find myself in an ice cream store muttering, rum raisin, rum raisin. <laughs> Wanna get out of here? Come on. Okay. Come on. I was there. 
youngest student in my psych program. I couldn't let him see me as a kid, you know? And the subject matter wasn't exactly fun and games. Hmm. Psychopathic killers, I heard. Why that? I don't know. <laughs> they fascinate me. Really? Yeah. Sort of Byronic figures of the late 20th century. Autonomous. Above the law. Following their own forbidden stars. What? No, sorry. Look, I know how this sounds, but I'd really like to photograph you. <laughs> no, I mean it. You have a great face. Face the camera would love. Would you? I'm serious. I don't know. Well, just think about it. It's perfect. I got a surprise. Whoa! Watch out. Watch out. What? <laughs> surprise! What surprise? Oh, my okay. God. Okay. <laughs> now. Oh, my God. Are you ready? Now, are you ready to see some photographs that don't have the evidence stamped on them? Sure. Right this way. Here? Right this way. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, these are really nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Martin, these are yours. Wow, so beautiful. I can't believe it. This is so different from what you do. You really like them? I can't help but be a little bit envious. Envious. Why? Well, I mean, you can express your creativity so freely. I'm so focused. You know, all work, no play. <laughs> you know what'll cure that, don't you? What? Some rum raisin. Rum raisin. I want a cup or a cone? A cup. <laughs> Going, young lady. Details. I want to hear all the gory details. Or oh, it's bamboo under the fingernails. <laughs> I'm coming down. Tell me, come on, tell me, what's he like? I've always had a crush on him. Um. Uh, well. <clears throat> he's nice. He's very nice. <laughs> That's it. Nice? <laughs> Kittens are nice. Men should be, uh... <laughs> nice is just fine with me. <laughs> uh -huh. Look, I got a new scarf. That's... I can't believe you. You're not gonna tell... Come on, ditch the dirt! <laughs> a day of multiple gang skirmishes ending with grim news from the beach this morning. Six teenage boys and three California sea lions injured in this, the first drive-by machine gunning of valley surfers by skinheads firing from stolen speedboats. Meanwhile, there are persistent rumors that there was a police operative at the scene of the Eagle's last murder, there at the time of the killing, though authorities are remaining closed-mouthed about why this person did nothing to help prevent this aerobic tragedy. Ah, sorry. Look, it's only the news. What do they know? You got a call. Eight, eight. Eight, eight. Oh, yeah, what? 
Don't you ever blame me for your drinking. I am not the cause of that. You are, you self-pitting little weenie. We had an agreement. I do not intentionally keep things from you, damn it. And if I could have known what I was going to do, I would have called you. Look, 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 let's just calm down. No, you calm down. I am too mad. And you can take that gold star and you can shove it where the moon doesn't shine. Son, for crying out loud. That too. Wow. Gold star, my foot. why I went to the health club. Are you okay? Yeah. Next is the belly. Would you like a glass of warm milk or something? Oh, oh Roger bought that for me to wear to this place called the Slammer. No way I could be caught in public wearing that thing. No way. I think I need to be alone, Luann. Oh. Oh. Jesus, it's, it's been some day, huh? Oh, well, I'm history. Um, my... She went where? And she's on Big Bertha. On Rogers Harley. Looking wicked. Great. It's lovely. Wearing what? The, the ticket's out there. Oh, okay, okay, Luann, don't panic. Just listen That's to me for a second. Naked. What? 80 miles. Okay, I okay, call it in. I'm five minutes from there. Something I want to show you. Hey, it's for members only, Johnny. Oh, yeah, come in. I might not be so smart, but I'm real good with a zipper. Ah, uh, uh, you got a grip, Mama. Uh, easy. Uh, uh, it's all uh, you want. What else is there? Oh, we got dope.
Sally, put down the knife. Sally, put down the knife. Put it down. Take it back, Booth, and wait for me there, all right? Now go, go! I'm scared. Just be there. Come on, go, please! Babysitting, aren't you? She's tucked in for the night. What do you got? Maybe our boy again. A girl. I mean, nobody hears much of you talking, but the doorman said there was some cop here just before it happened. Anybody we know? Yeah, it was me. You? What the hell were you doing here? Dancing. It settles my nerves after a hard day babysitting. You see it happen? I was in the head at the time. What's this? I had a little disagreement with somebody. They tried to get fresh with me. The victim stabbed to death? No. She was brain, the bun object. Really? Yeah, really. Mackie. One more thing. Somebody said they saw a biker-type girl going there just before the victim was killed. Any idea on who that might have been? Not a clue. tackled you, that girl might still be alive. You were on your way to Warner, weren't you? How was she killed? Blunt instrument. It's time you started opening up, don't you think? Now that we know you're not the killer, now what about these trance states? The Hughes. Whatever. Why don't you want to talk about them, Sally? Is it because you can't control them? No, I can control them. Oh, yeah. You were really in control back there. What do you have? Well, would you bring me some cottage cheese with a little mustard in it? Put your own mustard in it. Anything else you want while I'm here? Good. And maybe I can go home, okay? Yeah, you know, I gotta go home. I gotta cook dinner for a sick husband. You think he ever says thanks? Forget it. I swear to St. Pete, people just take me for granted, you know? Now I gotta go home and make dinner for my mother. He never stops. I swear to God, everyone just takes me for granted, you know? How'd you do that? Who knows? I just soak it up and spit it out. But I can control it. Come on. Back in that rock club, you didn't even recognize me. That was different. I was looking for a killer. No, you weren't. You were looking for the victim. You know what I'm thinking? I think you're a victim. I am not a victim! I am a survivor! I have to go to the bathroom. You've been to the bathroom! Stay with me. What were you thinking just before you went into this? I don't want to talk about this. This is, this is too dangerous. That's what partners are for. When things get dangerous, they watch each other's back. Earlier tonight, when you said gold star for my forehead on the phone, why then? I don't know why. Maybe the intersecting lines, maybe the... Maybe the 
form a star. He's here. Maggie. Oh, no, no. He's here. It's me. It's me. It's Maggie. I understand. You're starting to think like the killer. That's good. Yes, that's what a homicide cop tries to do. Stay with me. Then what? After you hung up on me. Oh. And I said, gold to star my foot. I said, Billy. Billy. Is that why you were following that girl tonight? <laughs> Billy, what is it? <laughs> what is it? What are you seeing right now? Stop! Is it something to do with the case? I've told you all I can tell you. Just, just let me go home, okay? <sighs> Sally. Taxi. Sally. Sally, wait up. Come on, Sally! Go away, will you? Dr. Mackey. Yes, sir. Don't push her too hard right now. Would you join me, please? What's this? I've known Sally Powers for nine years. I met her when she was 13. The youngest in a family of four. Mother, father, older brother. I met her because around four one morning, Sally awakened to strange sounds. Got up to take a look and stumbled in on her parents being slaughtered. I was chief of police in San Joaquin, then chasing my first serial killer. She ran to her brother. He was already dead. The man came after her, laughing, calling to her. She ran into a closet. From there, she got into a little access space. You wouldn't think a human could squeeze into, but she did. Just out of reach. The killer clawing, reaching for her. Till he heard the sirens and ran. We tried to coax her out of there for two hours. In the end, we had to take out part of a wall to get at her. You catch the guy? Uh, but I swore I'd do everything I could to help her. Wherever I was, as long as I lived. For a while, it was helping her through the nightmares. Then the fugue states. That's how her mind dealt with it. it jumped into personalities with made-up people that didn't have her nightmares. She could have stayed that way. It's all gotten worse. But she didn't let that happen. Not Sally. She hauled herself back from the brink. Turned every ounce of energy she had into understanding it rationally. She took off in school, skipped grades, shot through college, grad school. An iron discipline, getting her back on her feet again. Protecting her with facts, ideas, theories. Until she started working on the Eagle case. Why'd you let her do that? She never asked for anything until she got her psych degree. By that time, I was working down here. Then she asked me to let her work on this case. Like I said, I'd sworn to help her however I could. All right, maybe she's here to write a book. Maybe something else. I owe her the shot. Maybe she's thinking of catching a guy who'll have her for lunch if she ever gets near him. Do you think of that? You think she can put herself back together that way? My money's on her. Just don't you let her get too close to that brink. Me? Why me? I heard you like to hang out on the edge. Well, now... You got a reason for being there. Good night, Sergeant.
Hello, Martin. Hi, it's Sally. So, did we talk about getting together, or did I just dream it? Well, both, I hope. Why, do you feel like having your picture taken? Well, no, actually, I feel like going shopping. Do you want to watch? <laughs> what do you think about this one? Where are we going? Academy Awards? Too spangly. A little spangly. You think so? I think so. Really? Yeah. Let's lose it. Okay. Black. Thank you. What about this one? Perfect. You like it? Yeah. You do not. I do. You hate it. I can tell your nose is twitching. We'll take the red and the black. I love the red one. Yeah? I never do. American money? Well, they told me they did. Who sent you to follow me? Captain Keller. Oh, you're adorable. You should join Liars Anonymous. I'll join if you will. Now, what set this off? What set what off? The clothes, the talk, flirting with this guy. Tom, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean you don't know what I'm Excuse talking me. about? Uh, Excuse me. You guys need a ref? No, we don't. We don't need you. This is police business. Mackie, she's entitled to a day off. Say, how'd you like a week off? Mackie, I'm fine. I'm fine, really. Oh, come here. <sighs> Excuse me? You losing it? Can you tell? Uh, I would really rather not like to talk about this right now. Thank you. I, I will call you, okay? We'll do lunch. Ciao. I had a great time. Yeah. Don't forget your uh Talk about it. Sally? Three more. I am so close. God help me. What are you doing? I'm following my star. Who's going to stop me? I'm gonna have to call security. Yeah? Well, yeah. Sure as hell not gonna get into that wedding, because your name ain't on the list. Listen, Sally, it's me, Tom Mackey. You know me. Now look, I talked to Dowd. I know. Let me help. 
What have we been smoking, huh? <laughs> you just listen to me. Sally, if you want to get out of this mess you're in, you got to take control. It doesn't matter you're not normal. Who is anyway? So what if you pop in and out of personality? Big deal. The point is, you got to learn to take control of it so you can be yourself. Sooner or later, that's going to save your life. You understand me? So it's true, huh? What's true? You filed. Hi, big guy. Mr. Mark. Who gets the beach house? She does. Really? You know, I gotta tell you, that kiss you gave me on Falcon Crest was probably the best kiss in my entire life. Oh, good. Hi. Hey. I'm the termite inspector. Who do you think I am? LAPD. You could be the FBI, the CIA, and MTV all rolled into one. It don't matter. Now, can you find your way out? Do you need some assistance? I'm doing just fine. That guy behind you needs some help. Nobody gets behind me. Aye, oh, your shoelace is untied. Loafers. Hey, man, the house is on fire. Insure. How about if I just blow your stupid ears off if you don't let me in? Look behind you. <laughs> what do you take? You really want to know? Please have your invitations out. Just leaving. LAPD. Second, sir. Next. You know, I've been racking my brain trying to place you. I, uh... Well, don't. Why don't you just keep doing what it is that you do so well, huh? Yeah. Hi. Hi. that I, I do know you. Uh, Miller. Uh, Matthews? Matt, uh, Murphy. No, um... Uh, Mackie. Tom Mackie. Mackie. Was it Morton's? No. Uh, was it, uh, Sundance last year? Oh, wait, I know. I know. It was, uh, it was Swifty's uh, Academy Award party, wasn't it? We've got a mutual <laughs> friend. We do? Yeah, Sally Powers. You know her. Sally Powers. Powers. Oh, right! Sally Powers, the college girl. <laughs> That's sure. the one. Right. She's not here? Nah, never would have gotten in. Not the way you did. <laughs> <laughs> what are you picking up? Hands, Tom. Hands? Definitely going for the perfect hand. <laughs> <laughs> you have a strong mind, but you're changing it all the time. Right. Well, why did you decide to stop practicing law? Why did you want to be an agent? I got tired of practicing. I wanted to be a player. The game is over. Be aware of sudden death. You're an educated woman. Right. Uh, you're not married, but there's a man after you. You're in danger. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gathered here today to witness the launch of a new marriage. Two young earthly stars about to lift into orbit together. Who gives this hand in marriage? I do. Very good. I'm getting something. Can I have the check, please? Who is it? Where? I can't tell. Moon, do you give your hand to this man in lawful marriage? To share, Hari Pasu, according to the laws of the state and nature and your prenuptial agreement, till hopefully nothing do you part. What do you say? I do, so give my hand. Rock? Oh my you god. Accept Moon's hand in marriage? I do. Great. And I pronounce you husband and wife. Forget it, creep! Oh, hey, fella, come back here! Oops. Come here, grab him! Get him! What's going on? Get him out of here! Mackie! It's the prize! Sit down! Ah! Ah! Damn it! Oh my God. 
Yeah, we got him on the run now. you. I didn't know what kind you liked. That's okay, neither do I. Thanks. I'm really sorry. Uh, for what? I'm getting used to you. What else did you bring me? Well then, yes. a Da Vinci drawing. One of his studies of human proportions. And I had this made to superimpose over the map. And voila. Gold star foot. Remember? The pattern this guy is making. It's both. It's a star and it's a superimposed body. That's what I've been seeing. Body parts. Thighs, midriffs. Hands. That's why you laid down in the outline. You were picking up on his obsession. And see here? He killed the dancer for the right leg, the aerobics instructor for the left leg, the rock club, the midriff, the rape. You went straight for the groin, huh? Oh, man. This guy's the pattern maker of all time. No. Oh, he's a star maker. In his mind, he's not destroying. He's creating. He thinks he's making the perfect woman. You know where he's going to strike next, don't you? I think so, yeah. I think he's going to be in this area right here. Sally, don't go there without your partner. You understand me? As bad karma for the good guys. You promise me, huh? Would you hurry up and get better so we can go get this guy? All right. Meanwhile, you tell Keller everything you know, OK? No more smoking. Sound good, sir. Thanks. How did he sing to you today? Mackie, he was fine. He's gonna be just fine. They're gonna keep him overnight. What are you talking about? Mackie told me this morning. Said that Keller's gonna put him on a desk job. Says he's, um, too reckless for his own good. <laughs> reckless is Mackie's form of recreation. He's just saved two lives. I know, but he did it without Keller. And that's a no-no, you see. Keller can't get the press that way. didn't say anything to me. Mackie wouldn't. You want Mackie reinstated? Of course I want Mackie reinstated. You want something? I want something. Hollywood Boulevard. Go on. Do we have a deal first? We're on Hollywood Boulevard. Walk of the Stars. Tomorrow. I don't know what time. About noon. And Mackie is not to know about me. Who's going to tell him? Today's mail and a change of clothes. 
Oh, bills mostly. Oh, your car payment is two months behind, by the way. And pictures from the Rock Club killing for your collection. Another victim for his star-studded lineup to creep. You'll get him. And he didn't kill yesterday. Maybe he stopped. For a day or two, maybe. He'll go again. He loves to do this. Arrange the body and sit back and... admire his latest star. What? The victim from the Rock Club. She's in the spread eagle position. Well, so that's the way he leaves them. When he has time, he kills them and spreads the body apart. But this time he was interrupted by Sally. The victim fell in a fetal position. I know. I saw her seconds after he split. He never had a chance to do this. Well, somebody sure did, because this is the way Martin photographed her. Stupid! What? what? Mackie? Mackie, what, what do you think you're doing? I'm hoping I'm wrong. Martin, you stupid! Stupidest thing Keller's ever had me do. What about the time he had you stake out those three nuns he thought were stealing bulldozers? Second most stupid. <laughs> hey, mamacita. Hey, baby. Sally. Thank God. I was afraid, you know, you shouldn't be out here alone. Sally? Sally? Have you come to get me? Sally, are you all right? Are you on something? Have you come to kill me like Mommy and Daddy? Sally, it's me. It's Martin. Sally, baby, those guys are using you. You're coming with me. I'm gonna take you home. Jeez, it's Martin. Love never quits, does it? Go ahead, man. I'll bust your face. Hey, get in my face. Sonia, Sonia, talk to the school. This is Sally. Leave a message when you hear the beep. Did you just press redial? Where does Martin live?
time for your portrait. Tell how much I've loved women all my life. I've worshipped. Points alert now. What the hell are you doing here? You're supposed to be in a hospital. Look, this is life and death. I need to find Sally fast. Sally's fine. What do you got? I got a hunch about who the killer is. Well, what do you mean she's fine? What do you know about what she is? I haven't got time to play games, Mac. You, who's your killer? What you do? You used her for bait, you bastard. No! Oh! On the contrary, she volunteered. Stark has got it covered. And don't you ever touch me like that again. Where? Boulevard. Walk at the stars, you bastard. God. Thanks. Mortality. Tell me. 
I want to hear you say it. Tell me you did it. Tell me how. Lean out. Where's the entrance to 1385? 1385 is right around the corner. Right. Hey, right by now. I'll tell you how I did it. It's clean. It's fast. Each one got the death she asked for. Sally, if you want to get out of this mess you're in, you got to take control. It doesn't matter you're not normal. Who is anyway? So what if you pop in and out of personalities? Big deal. The point is you got to learn to take control of it so you can be yourself. Because sooner or later, that's going to save your life. What if you pop in and out of personalities? Big deal. The point is you've got to learn to take control of it so you can be yourself. Sooner or later, that is going to save your life. Hold it, Martin. Just hold it right there. What? It's the end, Martin. It's over. We're going to call the department now. Just come with me. Everything's going to be fine. Sally! I've got to punish you now. Don't, Martin. No! <coughs> Sally. Before or after you got up there? Before. So why'd you go along with them? I didn't go along with him, Mackie. The victim did. The young, innocent, the new girl in town. The one who was looking for someone to believe in her. I saw you deck him. That was no victim. That was the real Sally. It was the real me. Huh. Yeah. The one who makes promises and doesn't keep them? No. The one who cuts a deal when she has to, to get what she needs. What kind of deal? To work with this young woman as your partner, on any case I deem fit for you. You guys get the weird stuff, I'll leave you reasonably alone. <laughs> Guess again, I quit. Maggie. I ain't gonna let you go, so help me God. So what are you?
your partner. Psychopathology. Uh-oh, field trip. What in it, Mackie? Point one. Sally is expanding her dissertation into a book and wants exposure to a real-life case. A case in pathological criminality. Point two. You boys are obviously having trouble figuring out who the eagle is. How he selects his victims. I put you together. Maybe we all get what we want. Commissioner. I know what I want. The eagle. He's playing for keeps. I'm playing for keeps. If you know what's good for you, Captain Keller, you'll start doing the same. Well, um, I feel the next killing may be sexual. Sexual? No, I know. I mean, up until this point, uh, he hasn't touched them. Aside from killing them, of course. So why would he change his M.O.? Well, I can't tell you why. <laughs> Just a wild hunch, huh? Or, uh, maybe you got a hotline to God? Ask him when the big one's coming, will you? Uh, he might have hit again. Uh, Beverly Hills woman, 24, good-looking. Found spread eagle. You've got two choices. One is you're off the case for 10 days and you work a desk. Yeah, or? Or you can be this young lady's uh, escort, guardian, whatever, and you can unofficially stay around the case as her guide. Captain. As in take it or leave it. Officially stay around. All right. You come up with something fine. You bring it to me. You do not, however, work directly on the case or interrogate suspects. Stark takes that over. Stark, you could screw up a train rack. You need to cool your jets, and I need the commissioner off my back. Or maybe I should just fire your ass. Insubordination, threatening a prisoner. Come on, let's see what the books didn't teach you. Have a nice day. Oh. All right, recess is over. Turn in your weapons. Get back to class. undercover team they stink what's true partially true that i'm that i'm naive that i'm wet behind the ears that i'm you know just off the academic farm that's true you took the words right out of my mouth but it's not true that i don't belong here i'm not a dilettante you know i know what i'm doing i've seen violence right i know that fraternity football sure can't get intense and the scramble for the brie at the faculty tee <laughs> Will you? Uh, he might have hit again. Uh, Beverly Hills woman, 24, good looking. Found spread eagle. You got two choices. One is you're off the case for 10 days and you work a desk. Yeah, or. Or you can be this young lady's uh, 
escort, guardian, whatever, and you can unofficially stay around the case as her guide. Captain. As in take it or leave it. Officially stay around. All right. You come up with something fine. You bring it to me. You do not, however, work directly on the case or interrogate suspects. Stark takes that over. Stark, you could screw up a train rack. You need to cool your jets, and I need the commissioner off my back. Or maybe I should just fire your ass. Insubordination, threatening a prisoner. Come on, let's see what the books didn't teach you. Have a nice day. I know. That fraternity football sure can't get intense, and the scramble for the Brie at the faculty tee? <laughs> the cop humor. You don't take it so damn personal. I say something rotten, you say something horrible back, see? It's how we cop ties past the time between the donuts and the dead bodies. I see. No, not I see. Say something insulting. You know, get personal. Tell me I got a big mouth, a fat head. I've seen better heads on a pimple. <laughs> Better heads on a pimple. That's not bad. Not bad. My, my brother used to say that to me when we were kids. Spend more time with your brother. Hey, hey residential areas, slow it down! Shark! God, I hate joggers. Why run up? You're not breaking the law. Welcome to Bel Air. Please present your identification to the security representative. Community passport. What, this family day at the precinct? Two blocks on the left. No siren. This is a quiet community. <laughs> Burgess, you mind not smoking in my face? You know all that crap about good cop, bad cop? Well, forget it. There's no good cop here. He's bad. But I make his bad look like Mother Teresa on Sunday morning. Well, you smell trouble. I do. You want the sauce, Mac? You want? I'm just joking. It's no problem now. Come on. Hey, 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 wait a minute, please. Yeah, take this before I blow his ugly head off. So what's the matter? You get tired of killing strangers? No, no way. And what's this spread eagle business? Some kind of private joke? Man, I was nowhere near that parking lot when yeah, this... a big joke. You were seen fighting with her, threatening her in front of witnesses. What do you think? It's funny killing girls? What's the matter? You got a pencil for us? That's it, Mackie. Just trying to get at the truth, Captain. At this point, you wouldn't know the truth of a bitch on the butt. In my office. Now. I'll get back to you. I always get back. Does he think he is tough or something? Something. You want I should scare you up a fresh pair of pants? Spare me the grand gestures, Sergeant Mackey. I'm not gonna give you the luxury of monitor, but I'd be shirking my job if I didn't put you someplace else for a while. You feel like working traffic, maybe? I thought your job was to let me be a cop. Then I wish to hell you'd be a cop. You used to be one of the best, but something has popped inside. I don't know, maybe the divorce, maybe... Maybe all that bougie been guzzling is giving you an ulcer or something. Maybe I got some fruitcake who's killed four women so far, for God's sakes. And maybe that's the guy who did it. What the hell's the matter with you? You got a brain cramp or something? That man's not a killer and you know it. Furthermore, your treatment of him is the stuff that lawsuits are made of. You're tap dancing right on the edge these days, Mackie, and I don't think you're in control of it. I'm in control. I like being on the edge. The view's better. Not this view. You're on the edge of being a bad cop. You know where you can put those. 
Mackie. In charge of the Eagle case, right? Appropriate you're here. Catch him yet? At this point, Commissioner, I'm not even... Batting 500, I know. I don't think you boys are even in the ballpark. Stuart, what you need is an aha experience. A kick of genius in the seat of your pants. Yes, sir. I want you to meet a friend of mine. Sally Powers. Sally? Captain... Keller. Uh, Stuart Harry Keller. It's nice to meet you. Miss Powers? How the hell did you know my name? It's on your door. Not my middle name, Harry. In fact, no one in the department knows that. Well, the sign on your desk. The buck stops here. Who said that? <laughs> Sally, what is it? <laughs> What are you seeing right now? Is it something to do with the case? I've told you all I can tell you. Just, just let me go home, okay? Sally! Taxi! Sally! Sally, wait up! Come on, Sally! Go away, will ya? Dr. Mackey? Yes, sir. Don't push her too hard right now. Would you join me, please? What's this? I've known Sally Powers for nine years. I met her when she was 13, the youngest in a family of four, mother, father, older brother. I met her because around four one morning, Sally awakened to strange sounds, got up to take a look, and stumbled in on her parents being slaughtered. I was chief of police in San Joaquin, then chasing my first serial killer. She ran to her brother. He was already dead. The man came after her, laughing, calling to her. She ran into a closet. From there, she got into a little access space. You wouldn't think a human could squeeze into, but she did. Just out of reach. The killer clawing, reaching for her. Till he heard the sirens and ran. We tried to coax her out of there for two hours. In the end, we had to take out part of a wall to get at her. You catch the guy? When I swore I'd do everything I could to help her. Wherever I was, as long as I lived. For a while, it was helping her through the nightmares in the fugue states. That's how her mind dealt with it. It jumped into personalities with made-up people that didn't have her nightmares. She could have stayed that way. It all gotten worse. But she didn't let that happen. Not Sally. She hauled herself back from the brink. Turned every ounce of energy she had into understanding it rationally. She took off in school. Skipped grades, shot through college, grad school. An iron discipline, getting her back on her feet again. Protecting her with facts, ideas, theories. Until she started working on the Eagle case. Why'd you let her do that? <sighs> she never asked for anything. Until she got her psych degree. By that time I was working down here, then... She asked me to let her work on this case. Designer crime. So you're saying that you went to that particular health club because you have some kind of map in your head. I just knew. You knew you were supposed to call me. Well, maybe I thought it would look like just another cow to you. I would have checked it out. No. You mean you would have told me as I instructed you to and I would have been out there with a dozen men? It might have saved that girl's life. All right, look, I'm releasing you on your own recognizance. Go home and get some sleep or whatever the hell it is you do to unwind. Just stay away from that apartment for a day or two. You got a dictionary at home? Yeah. Good. Look up the word partner. Mackie, one last chance. If you can't keep track of a schoolgirl, which is the simplest thing I can think of to give you, be flying a desk, pure and simple, no ifs, ands, or buts. Got it? Yes, sir.
Lula. I'm leaving for lunch. Enjoy your iced tea. Nothing sacred. The firing range will be closed for repairs Thursday and Friday. And grenade class will be held at the 13th Precinct Armory. Wrist. Come on, let's go. Come on. Are you okay? No. Look, uh, if you ever need a shoulder to lean on, Your State. Working girl. She was a hooker? Coke fingernail, rented porno tapes. <laughs> Your lab will fill you in. Are you all right? She was raped. yet no you don't even remember doing it do you i mean you ever lose it like that before hey i'm trying to help you here look you screw up in public and keller's got an excuse to boot you out of here and i lose my ticket to be around this case bad for both of us you agree yes have you ever raped yourself what? No. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, the captain wants a few more words with you. I told him you were going through your files. I'll bet you did. Next time you feel like you're going to lose it, try yelling your partner's name as loud as you can. See if that helps. Here's my home phone. Thanks, Maggie. Thanks. Thanks. No, thank you. <laughs> well, you must have made some impression. Why do you say that? Oh, he's never called anyone partner before. rape a dead call girl she says he may have stabbed her afterwards and then put her panties back on look she's not real sure about the sequence and how does she come by this knowledge tea leaves tarot cards did she find all the victim's handkerchief no she had a hunch that's all maggie i know that look there's something you're not telling me and it wasn't my idea in the first place i don't care whose idea it was it's what the lab report all right maggie you mind No semen anywhere? What'd I tell you? Send her back to her own planet. Take gas. Look, there was forcible entry. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe he used protection. Yeah, right. What? Safe rape? Maybe he wasn't a guy.
stuff you put. Tell how much I've loved women all my life. I've worshipped, really. Now, now I'm almost home. Your face, your hair, or crown it, or make the ultimate star. Beautiful. And I, I want my face there. There for you, Martin. Oh, Sally. The roof. You'll be so beautiful when I do it, do you? Captain Kelly. I need an all points alert now. What the hell are you doing here? You're supposed to be in a hospital. Look, this is life and death. I need to find Sally fast. So is fine. What do you got? I got a hunch about who's that.
Say, Sally, you there? All right, darling. Still three guys you haven't danced with, two drunks and a dishwasher. Babe, get off of me! What do you want? You want to carve my chest property of Ray Burgess? And that star routine. Who do you think you are? Luby Velez? Hey. Hey, wait a minute. How am I getting home? I told you I could drive you home. killing 23-year-old Ara Lopez, a computer programmer from La Habra. And L.A.'s wondering what its cops are for. This is the fourth woman in as many days to fall victim to this still unknown killer. Although this time the police have a suspect in custody. They refuse yet to reveal his name, but they do admit they... Why the hell wasn't I notified? Get a suspect in the precinct, the senior officer on the case gets called. Get with the program, Luann. I'm sorry, Sergeant. Captain Keller thought that Stark would be able to handle everything. Keller can't think. He tried it once and peed in Santa's lap. <laughs> All right, now, so who we got? Uh, the victim's boyfriend, a guy named Ray Burgess. It's about time, Martin. Thanks. Thanks. Those are in order, and they're to the captain. Oh, Judas. Now, you listen to me, my friend. We can stay here all day, as far as I'm... I told you what I told you, all right? Burgess. You mind not smoking in my face? You know all that crap about good cop, bad cop? Well, forget it. There's no good cop here. He's bad. But I make his bad look like Mother Teresa on Sunday morning. Well, you smell trouble. I do. You want the sauce, Mac? You want. Look, just been raised. Nice. Hey, Blanca. Chill her out, Ray. All right, darling. Still three guys you haven't danced with, two drunks and a dishwasher. Babe, get off of me! What do you want? You want to carve my chest property of Ray Burgess? And that star routine. Who do you think you are, Luby Velez? Hey. Hey, wait a minute, how am I getting home? I told you I could drive you home.
again, Los Angeles. For the fourth straight day, the Spread Eagle Killer has struck again, this time killing 23-year-old Ara Lopez, a computer programmer from La Habra. And L.A.'s wondering what its cops are for. This is the fourth woman in as many days to fall victim to this still unknown killer, although this time the police have a suspect in custody. They refuse yet to reveal his name, but they do admit they... Why the hell wasn't I notified? Get a suspect in the precinct, the senior officer on the case gets called. Get with the program, Luann. I'm sorry, Sergeant. Captain Keller thought that Stark would be able to handle everything. Keller can't think. He tried it once and peed in Santa's lap. <laughs> All right, now, so who we got? Uh, the victim's boyfriend, a guy named Ray Burgess. It's about time, Martin. Thanks. Thanks. Those are in order, and they're to the captain. Drunks in the dishwasher. Ray, get off of me! What do you want? You want to carve my chest property of Ray Burgess? And that star routine. Who do you think you are, Luby Velez? Hey, hey, wait a minute. How am I getting home? I told you I could drive you home. Miss Mackey, you got a problem with that? Then you take that up with Captain Keller. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where's the body? Ask him. Who the hell are you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't thinking. Um, uh, this is a note from the police commissioner's office. Nathan Dowd. Nathan Dowd. Do you know him? He's a really nice guy, actually. Well, I mean, at least he has been to me. Though I hear he can be really horrible if he's crossed. It gives me permission to come along, take a look, you know, check things out. See this part? All officers are to allow me. Full access. Sally Powers, hi. 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 Dr. Sally Powers. And I'm assigned by Captain Keller to see that Dr. Sally gets wherever she damn well needs to get. Is that true? Yeah, he sort of met his partners. You know, Captain Keller.
Such a nice guy. Well, he's not crossed. Wait here. You don't want to see this. What do you got? Zip. I thought you were off this. Absolutely. So you got any prints, Jerry? Two glasses. One scotch, one mineral water. Her prints on the water, the scotch is clean. Take a look if you want, we're finished. Figure if she was drinking with him, she probably knew him. Got her from behind, no signs of a struggle. Mackie, I don't think this is our boy. You want my opinion? Ice in the water when you got here? Just in his. Put your death. Then I have an hour of us getting the call. Hi, I'm Mark. You sure you want to be in here? She's so young. Your age. Look, if you ever want to talk, I'm always around. God knows, this and Mackie in one day. It's no picnic. Sally, you there? rejoicing over the news that it looks like the Eagles' spell of terror may be broken. For the first time in over a week, 24 hours have elapsed without the murder of a young woman. However, that doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet because the Eagle is still at large. That was Gregory Snegoff with News Break, brought to you by the folks at Ferns and Case Gym, this week featuring a special on perfect legs. Come on down and get those thighs toned. Free valet parking, sparkling mineral water showers, and the most beautiful people so west of La Cienega. Guess what I tried. And I'm like, oh, whoa, like, what a pin. Did you hurry up and get better so we can go get this guy? All right. Meanwhile, you tell Keller everything you know, OK? OK. 
No more smoking. You done good, sir. How did he sing to you today? Mackie, he was fine. He's gonna be just fine. They're gonna keep him overnight. Kelly's gonna transfer him off the case. What are you talking about? Mackie told me this morning. Said that Kelly's gonna put him on a desk job. Says he's, um... Too reckless for his own good. <laughs> reckless is Mackie's form of recreation. He's just saved two lives. I know, but he did it without Keller. And that's a no-no, you see. Keller can't get the press that way. My God. Mackie didn't say anything to me. Mackie wouldn't. You want Mackie reinstated? Of course I want Mackie reinstated. You want something? I want something. Hollywood Boulevard. Go on. Do we have a deal first? We're on Hollywood Boulevard. Walk of the Stars. Tomorrow. I don't know what time. About noon. And Mackie is not to know about me. Who's gonna tell him? Today's mail and a change of clothes. Oh, bills mostly. Oh, your car payment's two months behind, by the way. And pictures from the Rock Club killing for your collection. Another victim for his star-studded lineup, the creep. It's time for your portrait. Tell how much I've loved women all my life. I've worshipped, really. Now, now I'm almost home. Your face, your hair, or crown it, or make the ultimate star. Beautiful. And I, I want my face there. There for you, Martin. Oh, Sally. The roof. You'll be so beautiful when I do it, do you? Captain Kelly. I need an all points alert now. What the hell are you doing here? You're supposed to be in a hospital. Look, this is life and death. I need to find Sally fast. Sally's fine. What do you got? I got a hunch about who the killer is. Well, what do you mean she's fine? What do you know about what she is? I haven't got time to play games, Mackie. Who's your killer? 
what you do. You used it for bait, you bastard. Oh! On the contrary, uh, she volunteered. Stark has got it covered. And don't you ever touch me like that again. Uh, where? Uh, Hollywood Boulevard. Walk of the stars, you bastard. Uh, Thanks. one got the death she asked for. Sally, if you want to get out of this mess you're in, you got to take control. It doesn't matter you're not normal. Who is anyway? So what if you pop in and out of personalities? Big deal. The point is you got to learn to take control of it so you can be yourself. Because sooner or later that's going to save your so life. What if you pop Understand? in and out of personalities? Big deal. The point is you've got to learn to take control of it so you can be yourself. And sooner or later that is going to save your life. Hold it, Martin. Just hold it right there. What? It's the end, Martin. It's over. We're gonna call the department now. Just come with me. Everything's gonna be fine. Sally! <laughs> I'm gonna punish you now. Don't, Martin! No! <laughs> Sally! And a change of clothes. Oh, bills mostly. Oh, your car payment is two months behind, by the way. And pictures from the Rock Club killing for your collection. Another victim for his star-studded lineup to creep. You'll get him. And he didn't kill yesterday. Maybe he stopped. For a day or two, maybe. He'll go again. He loves to do this. Arrange the body and sit back and... admire his latest star. What? The victim from the rock club. She's in the spread eagle position. Well, so that's the way he leaves them. When he has time, he kills them and spreads the body apart. But this time he was interrupted by Sally. The victim fell in a fetal position. I know. I saw her seconds after he split. He never had a chance to do this. Well, somebody sure did, because this is the way Martin photographed her. Stupid! What? What? Mackie? Mackie, what? What do you think you're doing? Hoping I'm wrong. Martin, you stupid! Live sex show right here. Willa! Willa! I told you! 
Put it inside the house with that stuff. Well, uh... No, man, I keep Come and see the live section. If I need you, gonna get sick. Bad sick. Hey, you wanna read the bad news? I got maps. Hey, lady. Maps to Star's home. What do you wanna see? Huh? <laughs> Right on in. I like the line. Gotta, 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 This is the stupidest thing Keller's ever had me do. What about the time he had you stake out those three nuns he thought were stealing pool dozers? Second most stupid. <laughs> hey, mamacita. Hey, baby. Sally, thank God. I was afraid, you know, you shouldn't be out here alone. Sally? Sally? Have you come to get me? Sally, are you all right? Are you on something? Have you come to kill me like Mommy and Daddy? Sally, it's me. All about me. Who's gonna tell them? Today's mail and a change of clothes. Oh, bills mostly. Oh, your car payment's two months behind, by the way. And pictures from the Rock Club killing for your collection. Another victim for his star-studded lineup, the creep. You'll get him. And he didn't kill yesterday. Maybe he stopped. For a day or two, maybe. He'll go again. He loves to do this. Arrange the body and sit back and admire his latest star. What? The victim from the rock club. She's in the spread eagle position. Well, so that's the way he leaves them. When he has time, he kills them and spreads the body apart. But this time he was interrupted by Sally. The victim fell in a fetal position. I know. I saw her seconds after he split. He never had a chance to do this. Well, somebody sure did, because this is the way Martin photographed her. Stupid! What? What? Mackie? Mackie, what? What do you think you're doing? I'm hoping I'm wrong. <laughs> Stupidest thing Keller's ever had me do. What about the time he had you stake out those three nuns he thought were stealing pool dozers? Second most stupid. <laughs> hey, mamacita. Hey, baby. Sally, thank God. I was afraid, you know, you shouldn't be out here alone. Sally? Sally? Yeah. Oh, my God. What? Look at that cloud. It looks like a cow, don't it? You see the horns and everything? Maybe your ex-wife knew a pimple when she saw one. Get out of the car.
Just remember, you asked for this. Hey, Mackie! Hey, Mackie. Hey, Mackie. You got a sentence for us? Have you seen the body yet, Dr. Come on, give me a break. Can it stand there all day? Hey, where's the break? Sir, don't think you should go in there. You're talking to me? Order, sir. Sergeant Starks. He's in charge of the case now. And you're? Patrolman Higgins, sir. Sergeant Stark's driver. Higgins. Yes, sir. I'd like one of your kneecaps for a paperweight. That's your finger, eh? On my mother's grave, I swear this is not my finger. The only upside I can see for you and this is you're going to have access to all those terrific blue parking spaces. Mac! Mac, you are off this case, Mackie. You got a problem with that. And you take that up with Captain Keller. <clears throat> Excuse me? Where's the body? Ask him. Who the hell are you? Oh, sorry. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking. Um, uh, this is a note from the police commissioner's office. Nathan Dowd. Nathan Dowd. Do you know him? He's a really nice guy, actually. Well, I mean, at least he has been to me. Though I hear he can be really horrible if he's crossed. It gives me permission to come along, take a look, you know, check things out. See this part? All officers are to allow me full access. Sally Powers. Hi. 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 Dr. Sally Powers. And I'm assigned by Captain Keller to see that Dr. Sally gets whatever she damn well needs to get. Is that true? Yeah, he sort of met his partners. You know, Captain Keller. Such a nice guy. Well, he's not crossed. Wait here. You don't want to see this. Sally! Hey, Sally! Come on, move! Come on, move! Down the knife. Put it down. Take a back booth and wait for me there. All right? Now go. Go. I'm scared. Just be there. Come on, go. Please. Sitting, aren't you? She's tucked in for the night. What do you got? Maybe our boy again. A girl. I mean, nobody hears much of me talking, but the doorman said there was some cop here just before it happened. Anybody we know? Yeah, it was me. You? What the hell were you doing here? Dancing. It settled my nerves after a hard day babysitting. You see it happen? It's in the head at the time. What's this? I had a little disagreement with somebody. They tried to get fresh with me. The victim stabbed to death? No. She was brain, the bun object. Really? I'm really. Mackie. 
One more thing. Somebody said they saw a biker-type girl go in there just before the victim was killed. Any idea on who that might have been? Not a clue. I hadn't tackled you, that girl might still be alive. 